Last weekend, I was in Nyeri, in some small village called Kiangoma, near Tumutumu, around the Karatina in Madira constituency of Nyeri County. It was a family gathering. When I was given a chance to greet the gathering, I greeted them in the name of BBI. There was silence. Actually, I gathered then immediately that people are not happy with BBI. I tweeted about it, and there were many reactions. It does appear to me that President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga have seen that BBI is not selling on the ground. That explains why when the report was over, around Mashuja Day, when we expected Uhuru and Raila to receive this report, it took quite a while for them to receive the report. I did say then, that Uhuru was afraid of BBI. And now, when they received the report, that report was not the report people were conversing. The issues that people were talking about when the BBI team went around the country were things to do with the structure of government, were things to do with the cost of government, were things to do with the structure of devolution. None of those appeared in that BBI report. And I said that was a decoy. That wasn't quite the report. And nothing proves all that I've been saying. More than the, this postponement, this extending of the BBI team's mandate. The BBI team has finished its work. They have said the next phase is for Kenyans to engage with the report using a committee system, using experts, and now they return it back to BBI. Nothing shows that these guys are afraid of BBI more than that. And therefore, William Samoy Ruto has won round one. So the postponement of the BBI, pushing it further by another six months and perhaps another six months, is indicative of people who are aware that things are not good, the ground is not good, and they are scared of the ground. And that's why I'm saying Samoy Ruto seems to be winning. But let me also ask William Samoy Ruto to be cautious. When those with power fear you, when those with power know you have a problem, you are a serious problem, they will crush you. So two things are going to happen. One of them will happen. Either they are buying time and at the right moment, when the ground is safe, they will swing this thing. It will be a surprise. It will sail through. The report will be turned into a bill. That bill will quickly go into a referendum and it will pass as constitutional changes to introduce a powerful prime minister perhaps for Uhuru Kenyatta, who knows? He also said if he's given, he'll take it. That is one of the things that could happen. Postpone these things, buy time, until you ambush the William Ruto side, until the ground is safe. Something else that could happen, number two, is that if the handshake team realizes that William Samoa is becoming too smart for them, as indeed I suspect, they will just crush you. William Samoa Ruto, be careful. My reading of literature, Shakespeare and the rest, my reading of history, my reading of palace and palace school tells me when an individual proves smarter than the system, when an individual proves too powerful to the system, the system only has one option, is to crush him. And therefore, if you realize you are not going to succeed through other means and that these guys will crush you, my advice to you, William Samoy Ruto, join them join them because I'm increasingly getting convinced that you are becoming too smart for these fellows. They might just have to go for the ultimate solution, which is to crush you. They'll do things without caring. They'll grab the trophy from you without batting an eye.
and tell you to do 